We have the pleasure of handing out the Reverend Edward Frederick Soren Award each year after this Mass. For those of you who are unfamiliar, the Soren Award is conferred on a Notre Dame graduate who has rendered distinguished service to the university. Past recipients are people like Father Hesburgh, Alan Page, Cindy Parsegian, Joe Kernan, among others. This year's Soren Award recipient is celebrating her 40th reunion with the class of 1979. But she doesn't look that for a minute. After graduating from Notre Dame, she began her broadcasting career right here in South Bend at WNDU before moving on to St. Louis and Detroit. In 1997, she joined NBC News as a national correspondent, reporting on MSNBC Nightly News and Today. She has received the prestigious Gerald Loeb Award and was part of the NBC team that won the Alfred I. DuPont Columbia Journalism Award and an Emmy Award for the coverage of Hurricane Katrina. She was named NBC's Chief Environmental Affairs Correspondent in 2007, and you have probably seen her work covering Pope Francis, the Olympics, and a number of stories related to climate change, the economy, politics, among other topics. Here at Notre Dame, she's been the member of the University's Board of Trustees since 2010. And along with Cindy Parsegian, she co-chairs Hesburgh Women of Impact, which began as an initiative to raise money for a new north entrance to the Hesburgh Library and continues to celebrate Father Ted and the leg legacy and generosity of women leaders at the university. But this isn't in the script. More than that, she's one of the finest people I think I've ever met. She's always ready to say yes. She gives back to Notre Dame time and time and time again, and gives back to classmates and everyone else. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming the 2019 Soren Award recipient and a member of the class of 1979, Ann Thompson. Thank you. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you, Father John. Thank you, Notre Dame. This honor has simply overwhelmed me. And I think of this honor as a tribute to Notre Dame. The principles and goals that have directed my life were cultivated here in South Bend after being planted at a home rich in love and the Notre Dame tradition. If there is one irrefutable truth outside my family life, it is my love for Notre Dame. Not in a rah-rah sort of way, although good luck trying to talk to me when Muffet's team takes the floor or on an autumn Saturday. But it is a love that centers and grounds my world. It is a love I only realized after I went away. The more I worked, the more I traveled the world, and reported on every possible dimension of humanity, and many dimensions you wouldn't want to see, the more I realized what an extraordinary education Notre Dame had given me, how it prepared me for navigating the awful truths of 9-11 to the inspiring stories of people who find themselves in extraordinary circumstances. On the spine of that Notre Dame education, the full body of my career grew. Notre Dame taught me to think with my heart as well as my mind, and that truth and understanding could not be fully realized without a spiritual component. I saw this in my dad, Bill Thompson, class of 1947. And today, I like to think it's reflected in my work as a journalist for NBC News. My sister Mary, class of 1985, was a correspondent for CNBC. And when we would get together and talk shop, talk about the stories we had done, we would always ask each other, well, what was the Notre Dame part of the story? It was our shorthand for the humanity and compassion for explaining how that event impacted your life. That was how we each tried to live up to Father Soren's challenge 
to be a force for good in this world. Each of you have taken that challenge to heart. It is an extraordinary challenge, and look at the extraordinary things you have done. The families you have made, the careers you've built, the impacts your lives have had on our nation, and the hope you inspire in men and women around the world to have better lives. In other words, the things you fight for. I am honored to be one of you. These days, I love to watch graduations because I love to look at the kids' mortar boards. And one of the things I really like are when the kids decorate them and they put, my superpower is. And sometimes it's accounting or architecture, science or engineering. Every once in a while, I'll see my major, American Studies. But 40 years after I wore that mortar board, I know my superpower is Notre Dame. Thank you very much. And thank you so much, and thanks for that, those remarks, it's profound remarks. Um, and I can attest to what Dolly said, that whenever we ask Ann Thompson for anything here, she is here on the plane, whether it's from China or, or Africa or wherever, she's here, and she's uh, so generous. I, I also just want to acknowledge, you know, Notre Dame, hey, I hear it at, at uh, reunions, you know, oh, campus is so changed, everything's changed, and, uh, uh, that it's true, but I hope it always uh, remains the same. And I think the, the great thing about Notre Dame, it, it can change and yet stay the same. It can keep the same spirit as it changes. And I, I feel what Anne represents is our, a group of pioneers, the women of the 1970s, who were the first women here on campus uh, to get uh, these baccalaureate degrees at Notre Dame. And, you know, I, I think that was a big change for a tradition-based uh, institution. And, and uh, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't smooth every day. But to see where we are now and to see we had a, our valedictorian, our salutatorian was a woman, our commencement speaker uh, was a woman. And it, what we are today is richer because of Anne and her generation of Notre Dame alumna who have made this place richer and better uh, place, a better Notre Dame. So uh, for all her accomplishments, for all her generosity uh, to Notre Dame, I want to thank her, but also for being part of that group of pioneers who, who have made Notre Dame a richer place uh, because they came here. So God bless you, Anne. Thank you. We're tremendously proud of you.